All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory, goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yal Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out here pushing out this word in truth and sincerity, Shiva Khanat, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yah, Ba'ashem, Yal Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. And I, I want to speak about how the people of this world, you know, the people of the earth are blinded by the God of this world. Okay, the God of this world being the spiritual demon Satan, but his physical counterpart is Esau, Edom on the earth, who, fill, who follows his will, who does the will of the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, Spir spiritual demon Satan works through Esau, Edom. Okay, and they are uh, the leaders or they, they are the rulers of this world. And uh, through their pseudosciences, through their doctrine, their philosophy, you know, that cup that they have made the whole world to dr drink. OK, they have confused and blinded the whole of uh, the people's eyes. OK, nobody knows who they are. Uh, it's debatable who the Israelites are. It's debatable who the, the, the true Jews are. OK, every every scripture has a, a different interpretation. It can mean something. It can mean that. Everybody has their own truth. You know, there's nothing but confusion in the world when you bring out, you know, true history. You know, people scoff, they scorn at it. They they talk down upon you because you don't have these accolades. You don't have these different degrees. OK, you're not a, a Edomite. OK, you don't look like a so-called white man. So you you are not credible. OK, you're an Israelite. You're you're not credible. We say that we're we're the chosen people of the Heavenly Father and people laugh at us. That is because the world is in darkness. OK. And they have been blinded by the God of this world, okay? Starting with Esau, Edom, and his philosophies, his, his wicked doctrine. Now, this is uh, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gro gross darkness the people. That's right. Gross darkness covers the people because the people, okay, all the people, okay? Of course, uh, not uh, including the elect because the Lord... He has woken us up out of darkness through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so now we see the light. Now we are part of that light. We have our, our lights, you know, uh, you know, we have our candles lit. Okay, we have the, the light uh, shines from us, through us. Okay, but the rest of the world, they're in total darkness. They believe everything that's on the TV. They believe Esau Edom is a, a, a righteous man. OK, uh, the, the so-called white man, he has changed the uh, people's ethnicities, their, their uh, you know, their nationalities. OK, he went around conquering, OK, with his sword and also his lies and his deception. OK, his witchcraft, he has he has solidified his power in the earth by his witchcraft. OK. It talks about that. I believe that's uh, Ezekiel. Let me bring that out really quickly. Just really quickly, uh, Ezekiel 28, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is uh, Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Yeah, Esau, Edom, he's wiser in Daniel in a way of he uses wisdom, okay, for uh, wickedness. And on the left-hand side, his, his, his wisdom is the wisdom of wickedness, which the scriptures speak about. That wisdom and wickedness is not true wisdom. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, okay, he'll he'll study people, okay, he'll literally pay, um, you know, different scientists, of you know, millions of dollars, billions of dollars, just to study, you know, one aspect of the brain, just to study sociology, you know, how do people, how people react within, uh, you know, with each other. He'll study, you know, how colors react. When you look at a color, how, how do you react to that color? How do you react to a smell? OK, how do you, you you react in certain situations? He'll study that and he'll use that wisdom against you. OK, he won't use that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for right. He'll use it for uh, for evil. OK, uh, it says with thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou has gotten the riches because he was able to deceive and has gotten gold and silver into thy into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou hast increased riches. You know, you got Jeff Bezos, Amazon, you know, uh, they, they have 
these algorithms that will pretty much, you know, cast spells upon you to buy things. OK, they have their advertisement. They have, you know, they'll they'll set up certain music in these different malls, these different, you know, uh, places of, of commerce. OK, to, to entice you to to buy things they will have, like I said, certain music play. They'll even spray certain scents in the air. OK, well, that's why when you go to a hospital, hospitals a, a smell a certain way. When you go to certain, you know, you go to malls and clothing stores, th they smell a cer certain way because he has studied all that in order to what? To make money off of you and to uh, ultimately to destroy you. And thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. And, th and this is the reason why the, the whole world believes everything this man is saying. OK, he's going to be the savior of the earth. He's going to bring in these vaccines. OK, he's going to bring in this RFID microchip and it's going to be looked at as a miracle. And the reason why it's going to be looked at as a miracle is because the people are in gross darkness. OK, let's go back. Isaiah 60 and 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The darkness is speaking about uh, the lies. OK, everything you see is a facade. It's, 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 it's phony. It's fake. OK, this is not how life is supposed to be. You know, life is not supposed to be this hard. Life is not supposed to be this stressful. OK, life is not about going to school, you know, uh, trying, you know, studying for 10 plus years to get a doctor's degree, to get a master's. OK, so you can go into the work field. OK, so you, so you can work for people that didn't do that. OK, they didn't go to school. These people that own these multi-billion dollar, multi-trillion dollar companies, Fortune 500 companies, the hidden elites that are in the dark, they didn't, they didn't go to school, okay? They studied some other way, okay? They studied uh, in magic. They studied in, you know, and, and, and basically finance, money lending, you know, how to deceive you, how to cast spells, you know, blood sacrifice. This is, the re this is how they receive their power. But the whole world, they don't, the whole world doesn't know that, okay? Because, they have been they have been trapped in these lies and gross darkness to people. That's why when you tell somebody, you know, um, I, I went on the common board and it was, a, a, you know, a so-called black woman. And she she basically the title was something around. I'm a proud black, you know, Irish tap dancer, something like that. And I just put a comment and which you, I usually don't even put comments. I never put comments. I said, you know, the. The real Irish are black and somebody immediately came out there and said, no, they're not. OK, and I, I'm not going to go back and forth, you know, but that goes to show you when you actually speak the truth. OK, people have been so deceived in their mind. OK, to believe that this is the truth. Everything that the so-called white man has told them, especially you Edomites. OK, you believe that you were you you uh, pretty much since the beginning, you uh, ran the world. OK, you have these sciences. You're, you're able to go up into the to space. OK, you have the TV, you have this different technology when really when you trace all those technologies you got from uh, other nations, starting with the Israelites. OK, you took their their technology and you ran off with it. Uh, what Jake will say, you ran off with the plug. OK, but the Lord, Yahweh Shai, this is on all capitals, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall arise upon thee. And this is what he's doing with the elect. OK, he has now. OK. Uh, put the spirit back on us. OK, put the spirit back in us. OK, now we're standing upon our feet. Now we're proclaiming the truth when this is not uh, something that is, you know, uh, well spoken of. The truth is not well spoken of. OK, it's evil spoken of. OK, this wisdom that we have is looked down upon. But the, the end game is that this wisdom that we have from on high, from the al Shah, is going to destroy the wisdom of this world. OK, you can read about that in First Corinthians, the first chapter. OK, how the how uh, the, the most high he counts the wisdom in this world foolishness. And you even have, have our people that buy into this, buy into the wisdom of this world. OK, they have so many different titles. You know, they go to school and and, and they uh, they pretty much go through a rigorous program. So uh, Esau Edom can give them, you know, the, the stamp of approval. OK, you, you're now you're educated now. People should look at you in some uh, form or fashion. They should have respect as a person. Anything that you say can come out of your mouth. Just like if somebody has money. OK, if somebody has money and you can see that they have money, you're going to listen to everything that they have that, that they say. But the poor man's wisdom, what does the scripture say? The poor man's wisdom is despised. 
and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the, his glory is being seen upon us. OK, OK, uh, this is the reason why you have the elect waking up. OK, you have brothers over there in South Carolina. They, uh, you know, a family came and gave them gifts. OK, and that that ha that happens to brothers. And that was, uh, you know, just a prelude of the things that are going to uh, that, that are going to come. OK, because the Lord, he's going to put the spirit on uh, certain men, certain women. OK, to basically take care of the prophets and do certain things for the prophets, just like uh, the times of old when you had uh, uh, certain women, you had certain men that would give that gave gifts to the prophets. OK. The woman that had that alabaster, alabaster box of, of oil of ointment who uh, washed Yahweh's feet with her hair. OK. Do you not think that, uh, you know, the, the 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 disciples, the apostles, the prophets that you had people who believed that, you know, took care of them. They'll actually bring them into their, their stories where they brought the prophet into the into their house. You know, they will feed the prophet. They will give the prophet gifts. So this is coming back, you know, in a in a in a in a in a, in a great fashion fashion also because the glory of Yahweh Shai, not because of us, it's because the glory of Yahweh Shai is 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 being seen upon us. OK, because the Lord, he has to put the spirit on you. OK, to speak truth and to speak truth when it's not convenient. OK, for the uh, in, in, in this world as we uh, uh, live in today. OK, uh, the truth is a speaking. The truth is a revolutionary act. OK, I forget exactly what quote, you know, certain brothers. I know the Apostle Kabar goes into it a lot. OK, I think in times of lies, speaking the truth will be counted as a revolutionary act. I'm not sure who said that quote if i i'm 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 kind of saying it i'm not saying it exactly but that's if you get the gist of what i'm saying okay and the gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to thy brightness of thy rising okay because the elect they're going to be set on high okay well the it talks about that in isaiah the 14 chapter how the gentiles are going to cleave unto the house of jacob meaning the israelite foreigners you're going to have israelite foreigners that you got to understand you can't just think black and white Okay, or, or Latino or Native American. Now nah, you're going to actually have Israelite foreigners from other other nations that are going to come to the come to the prophets and present themselves to the prophets. And that, see, that's when it's going to get super out of hand for Esau. He's not going to be able to, uh, you know, basically quell this rising, that the spiritual rising that's actually taking place when you're going to have people that look like Arabs. You're going to have people that look like East Indians. You're going to have people that look like, you know, the Japanese and, 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 and African nations and. You know, and, and Asian nations that are going to come and they're going to believe on the names of Yahweh Basham Shai because they are the Israelite foreigners. And that would that is what is prophesied. OK, and that's going to be that's going to bring great fame and glory to Yahweh Basham Shai. OK, and they're going to present themselves to the prophets. You, do, you don't think they're going to, you know, give gifts and, 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 um, and uh, make supplication. OK, so we have, you know, brothers been doing videos on that. We have nothing to worry about. The apostle uh, Ryan Lobb made a video, Think Not uh, of Tomorrow, something around that lines. Right. You, we we, we uh, one day, one day at a time, of course, we prepare, you know, we do things that we have to do in this world. Yet we we, we don't need to focus on how we're going to eat, how we're going to, you know, what are we going to put our, you know, put, uh, you know, clothes on. OK, because instantly the most I can give you money. And I and I I'm testament, you know, I, I can make testimony to that. Certain brothers can make testimony to that where, you know. You're, you're down and out and out, out of nowhere. OK, out of nowhere, you know, you 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 come into, you know, some financial help from the Lord. OK, or, or whatever it or whatever it might be. OK, a car, you know, a home. You know, and these things are only going to, you know, um, manifest themselves even more the closer we get to the end, because we're going to need um, help from Yahweh Shemashai. He's going to send that from heaven. OK, because all these things that are being done they're being done in the heavens that the, uh, that that his will may be done on earth okay so whether the lord put the spirit on a, a a family or a person or a brother you know to 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 help you out or to do certain things for you or have you know have food available for you okay you might not have a car you know uh, another brother might be able to take you places to to take you to to the grocery store or take you where you need to go. Okay, the Lord, he Lord set that up. Okay. This is uh so this world, 
I'm, I'm gonna jump to uh, Second Corinthians four. This world is in total darkness. They they don't have the light, okay? And the light that they do have, their light is darkness, and they look at our light as darkness, okay? There's a scripture on that. Give me a second. There's a couple of scriptures actually on that, but let me. I believe that's Proverbs. Let me see. 27 maybe or 29 one of let me see yeah this is proverbs 29 and 27 it says an unjust man is abomination is an abomination to the just and we look at the, this world as unjust uh, well, we I'm, I'm sorry. We look at the uh, at the at the unjust world as abominations. Yeah, these people that practice in uh, homosexual acts, these people that, you know, uh, believe in this system. OK, they believe in Esau sciences. OK, they hate the most high. You know, you have atheists, you have witches, you have actual Satan worshipers that are walking up and down the streets of America. OK, with Baphomet, uh, you know, uh, symbolism on literally, literally. You'll have, we go to camp, we'll actually see people, okay, mainly it's you Edomites that will actually have, you know, Baphomet hoodies on and shirts on with a pentagram, okay, with, with the horns. Outright Satan worshipers. Okay, we look at those people as well as all you rest of you people who don't know what the hell is going on. They they believe in their eyes that they know what's going on, okay? Women, women wearing men's clothing, okay, uh, women... Uh, uh, men wearing women's clothing, okay. Uh, uh, men with long hair, women with short hair, okay. Um, women that, you know, chop the chop their the breast off to look like a man, okay. Men that chop the rod off to look like a woman, okay. As well as a whole host of uh, uh, abominations that are that are being done in this world. Well, let me bring this out real quick. This is Isaiah 19 and. And 14, the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have and, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. So everything uh, in this society, every work in this society is is uh, is pretty much perverse. That mingled perverse spirit. Why? Because the spiritual demon, the spiritual demon Satan is is, uh, you know, uh, God of this world. OK, through Esau, Edom, he's a God of this world. When you. When if you want to do anything in this world, OK, who you go to, who do you look at? You look at the so-called white man for his stamp of approval or for or what or his wisdom. If you're sick, all right, if you're sick in the in, in, in your body, what is the first thing you you'll do? OK, you'll go to the so-called white man. You'll go to his doctor. OK, his falsifier. Cause that's what the, the, the word doctor means. It means to falsify. So you'll go to his his falsified system. OK, and you'll wait, you know, you'll set an appointment. First of all, you got to have all type of money insurance. So say, let's get past that. You will go to his hospital, which is nothing but a, just a demonic realm. OK, you step right into a demonic realm. They the way that the hospitals are set up, the way the clothing that they have on, the smells that they have in the temperature that they have in there. It's a very ominous presence when you go into those hospitals. They have the white. Everywhere, the all the different you know, departments and different doctors for certain things of the body. Right. And then you look at a doctor in a, in a high regard. So you get there, you wait three, four hours before you even see a doctor, you see a nurse before that. Then a doctor comes and he says this, says that. And you, you look at him like he's like, he's God, like he's going to save you. Okay. But the whole time he's going to, he's going to pretty much destroy. You. He's going to give you He's going to literally give you a, a concoction. He's going to give you witchcraft. He's going to give you a poison. OK, he's going to give you a drug. And do, doesn't Esau say drugs are bad, but it's, it's, it's OK if he administer it, administers the drug to you. Yet if you come to a brother and you uh, and a brother tells you certain things, OK, this is what you need to do. You have a, you have a digestive uh, issue. You need to make sure you, you drink aloe. OK, you need to do uh, a parasite cleanse. OK, you need to do a mold cleanse. You need to uh, change your diet. You need to go on fruits and vegetables for a minute and drink water. And, and then you need to go do certain teas like peppermint tea and ginger tea. And you need to praise the Lord, you know, the, you know, and do things like that. They'll look this. What? Drink tea. 
herbal tea does that even work like why would you do aloe why would you drink aloe what why would you why would you do this why would you do that right see so you see how the truth the 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 the, the true knowledge of this world is looked down upon because the lord he has mingled that perverse that crooked spirit in in the earth and, and that's through esau edom and his perverse ways okay and they have caused egypt meaning america to err in every work thereof. That's why nobody knows what the hell is going on. Okay. Nobody knows true history. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows that the genealogy really comes from your father. Everybody. Oh, you're mixed. Oh, uh, I'm half. I'm half black. Three, fourth quarter. You know, Irish. Uh, 2.3% Korean. And a little bit of Scandinavian on my on my mom's side. Okay, that's that's Egypt Aaron in every work. As a drunken man staggereth in his in his vomit. So if America if if America is being um is being compared to a if you were to see a drunken man, okay, if America was a person, the entity of America was a person, it and you will look at that person from the outside looking in, you will look at that. That person will be compared to a, a drunken man staggering in his own vomit. He's throwing up over itself. OK, he's totally he got the, the, the wine bottle in his hand. He, he's in the middle of the street. He doesn't doesn't even know that cars are coming. Cars are stopping for him, zooming past him. He's still drinking, throwing up everywhere. He got a pile of throw up everywhere, just staggering falling on the ground that would that's that's basically america is it's totally out of order which that's why this place is named babylon okay ba the daughter of babylon babylon in the hebrew meaning confusion but ball like when you uh the babel the babel means a whole bunch of words that don't even make sense that's that's america okay because you have so many different uh uh thoughts of belief okay here in, in, in America, you can come to America and do whatever the hell you want to do. You if you want if you literally want to marry a dog, you this on the books, you can do that. OK, that's why people love to come to America, because they can make all type of money and they can please the flesh and nobody will judge them. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. OK, they want they want purple hair today and, and red hair tomorrow. You're, you're you can't judge them. You can't say nothing about it. They are basically expressing them it's all about expressing yourself okay but of course they're expressing yourself in wickedness so uh i was let me let me go back to proverbs it says a unjust man is an abomination to the just and he that is um let me so i'm sorry an unjust man is an abomination to to the just and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked see so these people actually look at the just which uh, uh, Yahweh Shemashat have made us just. He has basically given that that coal. Well, I believe that was the prophet Isaiah, or it could have been Ezekiel, where the Lord put the coal on his mouth, and that symbolizes what that that coal is. That's that's a cleansing agent. That's a detoxifying agent where it's going to cleanse you. So the Lord He has cleansed us through the blood of His Son, and He has made and put these words in our mouth, and He has He has made us just. But to the world, OK, and this is the vast majority of the people, because what we're doing and what we believe in is a very, 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 very small sanctuary. It would it would it would seem like what we believe in is crazy because no one else really believes in it. But we know that this is power. We know that this is the truth. And and through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, uh, we know that Yahweh Shema Shai is only dealing with a small group of men. OK, a small group. Of course, you know, women and children that that are pertaining unto, that are pertain unto the elect. OK, that pertain unto what? The hundred and forty four thousand, that great multitude of believers. But look, one hundred forty four thousand. OK. Um, compared to what? What? Seven, eight billion people on the earth. OK, that's a very that's a, a, a drop. That's a drop of sand. That's a drop of water in the bucket. OK, but we know. That we are in the right. Okay, we know that what we are doing is right because Yahweh Shemasha He has revealed Himself unto us. Okay, and we 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 can we can see these prophecies actually taking place. So let me go to Second Corinthians now. 
This is 2 Corinthians. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let me let me read this. I'm going to start at the top. 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. The point is in verse 3 and verse 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, what we're doing right now, as we have received mercy, we faint not. So we ultimately know that actually coming into this truth and being able to understand this truth and calling the names of Yahweh, Yahushai, that is mercy. Because look, the Lord, he could have literally left us out you know, uh, as, you know, the, the, the rest of the world, the rest of our people, the rest of our people, are they're totally blind. They literally don't have a clue on what's going on. OK, they have a zeal. We all had a zeal. We're Israelites. We all had a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But see, the Abashmashai, he has called us into this thing. OK, so we have uh, we have received mercy and we faint not me. Now that we we um, receive this truth, we have to keep this truth. OK, we can't think. OK, we can't grow tired. We have to grow stronger. This is what the, the truth, what, what the scriptures say, what in John, the sixth chapter, that the, the spirit quickeneth. OK, the, the flesh profited nothing. It's the spirit that quickeneth. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So this word, the, the word quickeneth is as old Quaker English means to uh, to make alive. This word makes us alive because we're dead. Physically, okay, we're dead physically. These bodies are done, okay? And furthermore, we are dead without this truth. This is the reason why the, uh, two-thirds of our people, they're in a dead-like state, okay? And the prophet Ezekiel saw that, the valley of the dry bones. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. Yeah, we, we, we now we walk in the ways of righteousness. Okay, unlike this world. But if our gospel be hid, right? If it, if if our we we're uh you know proclaiming our gospel, okay, uh, via the the highways and the hedges, via the internet, which is a vehicle, which is that that main vehicle, which the truth is has gone out through the four corners of the earth, that YouTube. Let me read it again. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So if it is hid to, 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 the, to the world, it's because they're lost. When this truth is presented to people, the, the majority of people, they don't believe this. OK, whether even though there are certain things that we might say, you know, certain brothers might be able to relate, relate points and, and make and, and break down things that are complex and make it simple for you know, certain people to be able to understand and they they might even like agree to it. Like, yeah, that, that makes sense. They might even say, yeah, that makes sense, especially our people, you know, yet. Ultimately, if the Lord has not wakened their eyes, and opened their eyes they're, they're uh this, uh, uh, you know, they're blinded and this this gospel is lost unto them or it is hid unto them. Because they are lost. OK, when you speak truth to somebody and they buck up against it, it's because they're lost. And if you if you actually ask them a, a simple question, breaking down their thought process, they would even know how to even they wouldn't even know how to start. They'll literally get mad at you. They'll curse you out. They want to kill you when you question their belief. But they can question you all damn day long. Right. But if you ask them a question about their belief, you know, they're going to get upset. They're going to get mad. OK, they're, they want to walk away or they want to kill you. For we preach not of ourselves, but I'm sorry, I skipped the verse. Let me start at, at three again. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world. See, Esau, Edom has blinded the minds of them which believe not. So those of our people, you know, people who can't accept the truth. We know that, you know, Esau, he can't accept the truth because he's the damn devil. As well as you other nations, because it was never given unto you to be able to accept this truth. Yah Basham has never, ever, 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 okay, revealed himself unto you nations. Now, you did have uh, Balaam and Balak, that story in Numbers, the 23rd chapter, where he opened up the eyes of, a, a you know, a, I, I want to say it was Balak. It could have been ba Balaam, uh, one, one or the other. And he was from another nation. And so the Lord, he can he can open up the eyes of other nations and the other in the and 
And what did, what did he say? That, that Israel was going to be blessed. And he wished that he could be an Israelite. So that actually happened. But for the most part, the Lord has not dealt with any other nation. Let me, well, let me bring that out since, you know, you'll say, oh, he's lying. You know, the most high God, the New Testament, God loves everybody, you know, which this is the reason why if our gospel be hid, it's, it is hid to them that are that are uh, that are lost. Uh, Amos 3 1 hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. See? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord and this is this this. This statement is pretty much reiterated throughout the whole Bible. OK, new and old. OK, and this is what we're saying to the whole world. Like, no, that whole doctrine, philosophy of God loving everybody. Where did that come from? Because it because the damn sure didn't come from the Bible. That came from the misinterpretation or the deceitful teachings of the so-called white man. OK. The deceitful teachings of the so-called white man that was taught to you Negroes through slavery. That was taught to, through, to you as Latinos and Native Americans through slavery and oppression. OK, this is facts and you don't want to get past that. And if you and if you don't believe it, oh, well, who cares? Uh, Romans, let me bring this up. This is Romans three and three. For what if some did not believe the doctrine that we're speaking? OK, this is what we're what we're doing is look is. Is looked at as you know some different. Like this, what, what is what are, what are they teaching? It, they they reading out the Bible. They reading the Bible totally different. They saying this. They saying that. They saying God hates and they saying that only the Israelites can make it and and God's going to destroy America. And th this is a, a strange doctrine to them. But what it see? But you but see the people are not, they're not going to go and you know watch the video and you know take notes and go back and look for themselves. They're going to just make. They're just going to make a decision off of first hearing, you know, so-called, you know, uh, inflammatory words. OK, just like when we heard the truth, we heard, like, whoa, what? What the dang? Oh, what? Really? And what did we do? OK. We went back and we uh, look, look these things up for ourselves and we were convinced in our own minds. And let me bring a scripture out. Let me uh, before. I finish this. Let me go to Proverbs one. Because it said a wise man will increase in learning. Uh, yep. Uh, first, I mean, I'm sorry. Proverbs one and five. A wise man will hear. See. A wise man will hear. So those who cannot hear and understand, they are not wise. First of all, to even be able to understand is true. You have to have some type of wisdom in the first place. The most High has to actually impart to you wisdom. A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel. So you have to be um, somewhat of a man of understanding to be able to even obtain unto counsels because counsels, OK, are given freely through this knowledge every single day unto our people. But only a wise man would would attain and use those counsels because brothers can obtain if you get counsel from, you know, the, the brotherhood. OK. If you buck up against that council, then you you know you more than likely you're in, you're in a bad situation. But if you would have just followed through with the council, because you have to understand that council is from Yahweh Shemal Shai, then everything m more times than not will work out for for the better, and brothers can attest to that. Okay, but you have to be a wise man in in the beginning. You have to have some type of wisdom to be able to even hear. And understand these things. The Lord has to be dealing with you on a on a level to even build you up. But the majority of our people, they're they're just dumb dogs. Okay, they're they're dumber than a, a ass and an ox. Okay, and these are these are animals. So the Lord is calling you, you you Jake, two thirds of you Jakes that can't get this. He's calling you dumber than animals, brute beast. For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Most High forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So this, uh, so you not believing, okay, that that's not going to stop these prophecies 
from coming to pass. The, 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 the great thing about this is you people, you can scoff, you can scorn, you can say that we're lying, you can say all these different things, but but in the long run, or I should say in the very near future, you're going to be you're going to be uh, you're going to be found out to be a liar and you're going to be found out to be wrong. But see, just you, you, you're not going to be able just to accept you being wrong because that's when you're just going to be judged and put to death. And, that, and that's going to be simultaneous. OK, because a lot of our people, they're going to what they're going to say, oh, man, what they were saying was right. But it's going to be too late. The doors of mercy are going to be closed. OK. Because when the most high called, you you uh you did not answer. You see? So he's gonna mock at you. he's gonna mock when your fear comes. You can you can continue just read Proverbs the first chapter, it's gonna go into that how the Lord he basically pushing out wisdom out there. But you Jake, so you're not gonna listen to it. Okay, so you're gonna have no excuse when that judgment is com coming in. Esau Edom, he's preparing judgment right now as we speak. You see that? Let me read verse four again. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. See, we read in Isaiah 60, rise and shine for your light has come. OK, the, the, the light is shining uh, 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 on us, upon us, but it's not shining upon you because the God of this world has has blinded you. So you can't even see even though we're t we're literally telling you plain we're we're actually telling you the truth and then we're telling you that you're blinded and you still can't even see it that that's some that's some powerful that's some powerful uh you know some powerful stuff at hand that the most high is doing which that's the angels man that's the angels blinding the eyes of our people blind the eyes of this world okay through the through the through 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 you know Esau Edom and his lies. Okay, you be, you believe in tangible things like this man. Okay, you have to see it to believe it. But you know what? Our people were like that during during the time of Yahweh Shai. Our people were like that since the beginning. Okay, they had to see it to see it to believe it. They never had faith. Okay, in the things and the promises that Yahweh Shemashai has promised unto us. Okay, in the things that He has told us to do and not to do, because he, the, the Lord He's not in a physical form right now on the earth or. When you about to sin, he said, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? OK, see, so our people, what did they do? They they basically they, uh, you know, they were emboldened in their wickedness. And this is the reason why we're in a situation that we're in now. OK, ultimately, it was all set up. You know, the creature was subject to vanity. You know, uh, nevertheless, our people, they don't uh, acknowledge their faults. OK, what do they do? They continue in their lives. So, you know what? When. When when shit gets real, when shit, you know, Esau Edom starts cutting shit off, okay, and you start suffering, don't come running to us, okay? Don't come running to us if you can even find us. Because you're gonna get the cold hard reality. Okay, the cold hard reality is we're gonna tell you just like well, let me bring it out. Let me bring it out. We're done there. Matthew twenty five. I'm going to go right to the, the point. <coughs> uh, you know, what? I got to start up. I mean, I'm going to read quick. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Yeah, you foolish jakes. You, 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 you don't take this, this truth. Um, uh, uh, seriously, okay. You don't you don't look at wisdom of the the Yabash Mashai as you know uh, treasure, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But the wise did. Remember, we we read a wise man shall attain to counsels. Okay. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai when he went up to uh you know he he's not with us right now. He's in the He's in the spiritual world on the right hand side of his father, but he did not leave us alone because he gave us what he gave us the comforter. He's he's still here in the spirit. OK, and this is how we draw close to him. This is how we, you know, tap into that power. OK, this is how we, uh, you know, become become wise. OK, and stay wise. It's not just becoming wise, but staying wise all the way into the end. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. 
go ye out to meet him. This is when, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, we're not teaching anymore. OK, it's all about your faith. It's all about your personal relationship with Yahweh Shema Shai. OK, if you have one. Or you took, you know, you you were uh, doing your own thing, you know, you had better things to do. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out. Basically, they didn't get it while it was hot. They pussyfooted and let lo lollygagged. OK, they this thing was on their time. OK, I'm going to get to it when I want to. Yeah, what they're saying is true. And I know it's true. But, you know, I got, you know, I got a family or, you know, I, I want to do my own thing. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to get this new job, you know. But I want to or or I, I, I want to you got guys that that, that want to do it their own way that want to go up some other way. But the wise answer saying, not so. Least there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. You go get it yourself. But see, at that time, Yahweh Shemar Shai, he's going to withdraw himself. You see, that famine of the word is going to come in and you're not going to be able to study. You're not going to be able to reflect on, you know, uh, the precepts. You know, in times of trouble, you're not going to be able to call on Yahweh Shemashai in times of trouble. You're going to get Matthew 7 and 21. OK. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. See, the Yahweh Shemashai is going to shut that door. The doors of mercy are going to be shut. The doors of mercy are shutting right now. They're all they've always been shutting. OK. And we're at the point to where. It's going to be totally shut to where you're not going to be able to open up that door. Okay, that door is literally not going to be open for you. Okay, and those who have prepared themselves now, who have, you know, uh, you know, flipped the Lord's talent. Okay, have, you know, uh, basically have grew in the spirit, have endured all the afflictions. Now, the, 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 the they're going to be delivered. They're going to be saved. But to you other you other Jakes that are, you know. Not, uh, you know that don't take this serious it says and afterwards came also the other version see be uh, late late okay you weren't ready okay here it is we about to we're going on a, on a trip okay we've been planning for six months and, and every day hey, get make sure you get you got everything ready because when we out the door we out the door ain't no turning back okay and then last minute right when everybody say all right let's get in the car let's go oh wait 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 come on let me what, hold on hold on let me let me get my let me get my stuff. Let me just pack real quick. Just give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes. Let me just pack real quick. Let me just throw something together. Let me just jump in the shower real quick. And, 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 and I'm just going to throw some stuff together. Nah, it's too late. We're gone. That's how you, you Jakes are going to get left. Afterward came also the other version saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. So you're going to be begging. Open to us. Teach us. You know, brother, break down that name for us, man. Like, nah, bro, we, I got to go. You got you you got a Bible at home. You better go get your Bible. You better you better read your Bible. You know, <laughs> you better go to one of them other two. You better go to Nate. You better go to Nate. You better go to Johanna. But th by them t by that time, them dudes is already going sold sold you Jake's out. Okay, it's gonna be too late. If not, the Most High already took their ass out because he took Comfy out. What makes you think he ain't gonna take these other guys out? It says, uh, Lord, Lord, open, open to us. But he answered and said, verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. So, Lord, he going he gonna to literally give you the cold shoulder, man. That's the spirit that we're going to be in. We're going to give you the cold shoulder. And that's the spirit that's pretty much we're getting in, man. We're, we're pretty much getting into a cold shoulder spirit, man, with, with, with you, Jakes, okay? If you don't want to come and serve y'all, Basham Shai, to hell with you, okay? That's basically what it is, to hell with you. It says, watch, therefore, for you neither for... For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Okay, because the scriptures speak about that the day of the Lord is gonna is gonna come as a thief in the night, but it ain't gonna come to a thief at night like unto us, because we are of the light. Okay? And you Jakes are in what? You're in gross darkness. Okay, because you have been blinded by Esau Edom. Okay, you have been blinded by your own pernicious ways, your own flesh, your own belly. OK, and you you have put off the Lord. OK, the scriptures say put not off the Lord from day to day, man. OK, once you hear this thing, you you got to that. Well, that that was your that was your chance. Once you 
Once you hear this truth, it's either you're sealed for destruction or you're sealed for salvation. Okay, so which one which one is it? Yet while there's still time, you still have time to actually serve the Lord, repent. Yet you already know, you know, some are gonna repent, some are gonna come to the Lord. But the, the majority of you, Jakes, you're gonna be just you're just gonna be destroyed. So I'm 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 done there, you know. Uh let me see. Yeah, yep, yeah, this is it right here. This is uh First Thessalonians five and one, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. We know that. We literally know that the day of the Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night, and the day of Lord, the day of the Lord, Yahbashimal Shai, is approaching us right now as we speak, and we we are preparing our minds. The Lord, He's preparing us. Okay, this is the reason why we go through the different uh, trials and tribulations that, you know, we go through is to prepare us. And we know that, you know, the Lord, he's working on the planet Earth through his prophecies. OK, through this word. OK, this is the reason why you have lockdowns, you have martial law, you have, you know, confusion in the world. You have, you know, we see Esau Edom and his plans. He's trying to implement. OK, he's ultimately trying to implement this new world order. He's pushing this 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 uh, cashless society. He's pushing this RFID microchip. Which we're telling you, and there's articles, there's, you know, videos that we bring out, we bring out scriptures, but yet our people, they still scoff, they still scorn, or even they uh, put put off the Lord. They like, you know, I'm, I'm leave, but, you know, I'll, you know, I got something to do right now. I still got to, I still got to go to work. I still got to, you know, be with my family or, you know, my woman, she don't really like, you know, I start watching the video, my woman gave me hell, you know, and she threatened to leave me. So, you know, I, I kind of fell back from that, fell back from teaching. Oh, it was another dude did a video basically said that, you know, I'm you know, I'm not going to even go into it. I'm not going to even go into it. Jake, Jake, no, uh, all those damn excuses. You want to have all you Jake's that have excuses. You're going to have to actually present yourself in front of Yahweh Bashima Shai on Judgment Day. All right. You got to work at your own salvation with fear and with trembling. You, you, Jake, you don't you don't honestly fear Yahweh Bashima Shai. Well, you fear this is what you fear. You fear Yah Bashamashai by the priests of men. Let me bring that out. I think that's Isaiah 29. This is Isaiah 29, 13. Therefore, uh, wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Okay, so Jake is all lip service, and your fear that you have towards Yahweh Shema Shai is taught by men okay that don't have fear that don't have that have a perverted understanding of Yahweh Shema Shai let's say oh God knows your heart you know all you got to do is just be a good person you know just trust just trust in trust in trust in God you know God knows that you you know he knows his people now hey man the most high you you see the, the Lord's work you see his judgments that are going out dudes getting shot in the head women getting kidnapped and, and raped you know, people getting hit by cars, you know, catching all type of mad diseases and stuff like that. You you must not you must not know the fear of Yahweh Shemar Shai. OK, so, you know, I, I'm going to say that's on that. I'm not going to go into going to that. But let me go back. So it says for you yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord. So come up at as a thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. See, they're going to give you the okie doke. Cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So we know, okay, that pretty much all the wicked, all those who are, you know, half assing, all those who, you know, pretty much are, you know, uh, hearers of the words and not doers, they're going to receive their judgment, man. All we can do is just warn the people, okay? Constantly warn the people until the Lord, he takes us, takes us, you know, he tells us to stop talking. Basically, he tells us to stop prophesying. So we're going to prophesy until the Lord says not prophesying. And that's pretty much, you know, that's the doors of mercy closing. Then it's just judgment time. But ye brethren are not in darkness. See, we're not in darkness. Like the world earlier, you know, Isaiah 60, the, uh, you know, the gross darkness, the people, Okay. 
how darkness is covering the whole world, okay, through Esau Edom, okay, through the spiritual demon Satan. But we are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief, because Yahweh Shemal Shah, he has revealed his son unto us, which is what? The light. Well, in John 3, it says that, that men love darkness rather than light. That's the reason why they don't want to come to the light. That's really the main reason why our people don't want to come to this because they hear the words, you know, that we're speaking. You know, all Jake, a lot of Jake's, OK, have watched these videos and they have been con con condemned in, in, in the heart. But, you know, they know what they need to do. But see, they love darkness rather than light. They can't give up the world. They can't give up, you know, uh, you know, for they can't follow. They can't basically take up the cross and follow Yahweh Shai. They can't give up those riches just like that bitch ass nigga Nick Cannon. You think he's going to give up his riches to follow the Lord? Nah, that dude going to be destroyed. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. Yeah, the, uh, you people are asleep as others do. Uh, as do others, excuse me. But let us watch and be sober. Yeah, let us be sober minded. OK, uh, uh, not drunken off of any of these philosophies that are, you know, pretty much sweeping across the whole world. Pretty much wickedness is all around the world, okay? Uh, different, you know, uh, theories of thought, different belief systems are, you can do and, and say whatever the hell you want to do. You can, you, can, you can have a platform in Babylon if you know how to do it right. If you know how to set it up right, okay, you got the camera, you put your heart and your soul into, you know, your social media, or you have some type of niche, you know? You know, you might be funny, you know, you can do a little, you can, you can, you can get clout, okay, to the point to where if you got enough clout, okay, here's Esau Edom, he gonna come, he gonna, he gonna present you with some money, all right, so he can use you for his, uh, first of all, he wanna make money off of you, so he can use you for his, for his agenda, okay, for his benefit, if you a funny guy, and a lot of people are on your social media, all right, you got, you have advertisements, start hitting you up, you can make a nice little bag, you know, you can start, uh, speaking about different things in the world, your thoughts, and people are going to actually listen to you and believe you just because you have some type of, you know, clout in this, in this, uh, world. You have some type of, you know, position. So Esau, Edom, he knows that he knows that you people are stupid. Okay. And you believe anything, but see, we are not, we are not the children of darkness. We are the children of light. Okay. We are, we are not asleep. Okay. We are awake and we're sober. We're sober minded watching. We are the watchmen for it says for they that sleep, sleep in, in the night and they that that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day. Yeah, we are of the day. OK, righteousness be sober, yet sober minded with this truth, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation for the most high has not appointed us to wrath. Yeah, this is the reason why. We have been brought into this thing, okay, because we have not been appointed unto wrath, okay? The world has been appointed unto wrath, okay? All those that are outside of this small sanctuary of Yah Bashamashai that do not believe in these words and follow uh, the actions, okay, that are contained in these scriptures, that don't follow the, the words of the prophets, okay, that main prophet being who? Yahweh Shai, okay, well, it tells you that, let me bring that out just really quick, I think that's Acts the third chapter. Acts 3 and 23. Yep, this is Acts 3 and 23. And this is Peter, okay, speaking to the people. It says, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet, that prophet's being, that prophet is Yahweh Shai, okay? And who do we preach? We preach Yahweh Shai. We don't, we don't preach in our own name. We preach Yahweh Shemal Shai. So we pretty much, it's, the, it's Yahweh Shai speaking through us, okay, Yahweh Speaking through Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai speaking through us. Okay, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet, because we're saying the same thing Yahweh Shai was saying, shall be destroyed from among the people. See? So yeah, those that are outside of this thing, they're, they're uh, allotted for destruction. So it will behoove you to listen to these words and to follow these actions, to pray for faith. Okay, or, or not, right? It, it's all, it's all, you know, up to Yah Bashman Shai if you had that spirit to take that leap of faith or not. Anyway, okay. 
I'm a, I'm a Lord's one. I'm gonna keep doing this. Why? Because I want to, I want to have the, the hopes of being saved. Okay. I find, uh, you know, there, there's, uh, you know, the Lord put it in my spirit to do this. Okay. As well as all the other brothers, he put it in our spirit to be, you know, vessels unto him. Okay. It says, but let, okay, I'm done with that. It says, for the most I have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So ultimately, the reason why we're in this is to obtain salvation through our Lord by listening to that prophet, which is Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. It says, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, whether we are in the, this world alive or we are, you know, passed on to the spiritual world, we shall live together with him. See, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even also, even as also ye do. So we we that's why we do these videos is to edify uh, one another. Let me just bring out this last scripture. Or maybe two more. This is Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. Okay, we're oh, really, we're the light of the world. Yahweh Shai is shining through us. Okay, in this world of darkness, we, we really are the light. Yet, we are looked at as darkness. We are looked at as evil. People walk by the camp and say that we're, that, uh, we're evil. Okay, we hate. All right, we're liars. Okay. Well, let me go up a little bit. This is uh, Matthew 5 and 10. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. So we are being persecuted. And that that true persecution is really is going to come very soon when Esau Edom starts blasting the Hebrew Israelites on the news in a negative connotation saying, you know, he's going to create false flags, which he's already done. OK, he test run it. He's already done this, but he's going to do it to where just like this COVID thing. Everybody knows about the COVID. Why? Because Esau Edom, he plays it on his TV. He, uh, all his uh, news outlets, okay? Everybody around the world is on, he, Esau Edom, he's uh, uh, making everybody push that narrative. So whatever narrative Esau Edom wants to push, okay, when the Lord's ready for that persecution to come, Esau Edom, what he's going to do, he's going to persecute the Hebrew Israelites. He's going to have us on videos, on TV, saying these outrageous things, which are not in proper context. OK, playing on people's emotions. OK, so the scriptures say, blessed are, are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. OK, we are the kingdom of heaven actually being prepared for us. OK, blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Is that does not that ha does not that happen? Do people not say these crazy, outrageous things towards us? OK, towards uh, the men of Yahweh Shai that are preaching this true do doctrine. But then you have. Certain Israelite groups where you go on their common boards, and it's nothing. Oh, the water, you you know, beautiful. Uh, 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 all praise to the Most High. This and that, which we get that also through the believers, but uh, the the majority of the people have nothing ill or bad to say about these other guys because they are politically correct Israelites. They don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, so they basically they dilute the truth. We don't dilute the truth. We tell you 100. percent so what Paul uh, where it says, well, have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah, we have we have became the we have become the enemy of the world. And uh, says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, because it's not of our, it's not because of us. It's because of Yahweh Shai, because really these people, when they are around us, when we don't. You know, we have to be, you know, in that Clark Kent state, okay, uh, 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 you know, living peacefully up amongst all men. They, these people, they're, they are, uh, they are attracted and drawn towards us and they can't really pinpoint, pinpoint it, okay? They, oh, they, they won't say, oh, yeah, he's, he's a worshiper of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Yeah, that's the reason why not. If they, if they truly understood what we're into, they will hate us. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for your for great is your reward in heaven. So we have a great reward in heaven waiting for us. OK, and we we know that and we believe that. OK, yet the, the these people, they don't look at what we're doing as, you know, something that we're going to be rewarded for. OK, they look at us as, you know, they need to get these guys off the street. They're preaching hate.
they're messing up the party, so to speak. This is the reason why we're in the situation now, because they 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 they're in the spirit of evil. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you, yet they won't even consider even our people, even people that so-called believe in the Bible, that the prophets of old, they were persecuted. They were put to death. The Lord himself, they try to say, oh, Jesus Christ, he's the only way and he loves everybody and this and that. He was, They put him to death. They hated him. The majority of the world hated the Lord. But they see, they, they, they're not going to make that distinction between the two. That comparison, okay, because they are, why? Because they're blinded by the God of this world. So let me jump back to verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city that can that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And that's right. And this is the reason why this word is going out to the four corners of the earth, because that light is shining around the whole world and is and is waking up the elect. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Yeah, you don't light a candle and then put it under somewhere that can't be uh, seen. But on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Yeah, I'm going to just end it there. So we we do this. OK, and we and we're not ashamed of this. We're not ashamed of this gospel. We know we are going to get persecuted for this. Yet the Yahweh Shemashai told us that this was going to happen, happen, that the world was going to hate us. OK, because the world they're in darkness. OK, oh, no, we're just going to we're going to bow, bow our heads down and agree to this world with trannies and, and Edomites and, and Moabites and all type of manner of wickedness. You know, people eating abominable foods, just confusion. We're going to we're going to we're going to join hand in hand with the wicked. Get up, get, get out of here. Now nah, we're going to stand on our feet. OK, and, and keep our integrity and, and curse, curse out you people. OK, preach this word all the way to the end, because what? Whether we are alive or whether we are awake, we are going to be with the Lord. OK, we're going to have that reward waiting for us. OK, and then and then we're going to get that glory. Then you're going to then all you people are going to be ashamed. OK, and you're going to bow before us. You see, but before like the scriptures say before honor comes humility. OK, so we have to go through that straight and narrow. OK, and the Lord, he's putting the spirit on us and increasing our spirit to be able to withstand these things that are coming. OK, because you have men that fall. Uh, because of the small persecution that's happening now, okay, like Nick Cannon. Yet that that's going to be nothing in comparison to the things that are going to come to the true men of Yah Bashmashai and the true men of Yah Bashmashai, the God of heaven and earth. They're going to be able to withstand that and endure that, okay. And some of, some are going to be martyrs, but that is that is going to be a testament to uh, our our belief system in the true power, okay, and His Son. So you know, without you know, uh, you know. That was pretty much it on that. Pray that, you know, you brothers, you know, a few sisters, you believers out there were edified, you know, uh, you know, a lesson built you up. You know, we're coming to crazy times. We're in crazy time. Yet remember, keep the faith no matter what. Keep your faith in Yah Bashem you know, and the Lord, he's going to fight for us. So until then, Shalom to the elect.